as my friend Josh Cohen, formerly of MIT, uh, has frequently said, the future is not a forecasting exercise, it is a design exercise. We have to design the future we want rather than waiting around for it to happen or predicting what it will be. So many things can happen. Why I think AI has potential to be so useful for middle skill work is over the last 40 years in the age of computerization, we have displaced a lot of middle skill workers from office, clerical, administrative support, sales, but also production and operative positions, why? Well, those, that skilled work, but it followed well understood rules and procedures that could be written up in software and executed by machines more cheaply. That's why it was so vulnerable. Uh, AI is really quite different. It doesn't really follow rules. It can't even do math or keep facts straight. But what's really good at is pattern recognition, recognizing things that are uh, not spoken, that are not formalized, and yet are uh, critically important, like how to write well, or what's in an x-ray, or uh, how do we um, write a piece of software, or what's a kind of a quick and easy technique or well understood uh, procedure, and it can predict and fill in. It's an excellent decision support tool for that reason. It can enable people to use relevant information to get things done faster and then to improve the quality of those open-ended tasks that they have. So what we've seen in a number of examples is in the case of writing, in the case of sub customer service, in the case of software development, AI seems particularly helpful to people who are kind of good, but not at the not at the frontier. It makes them more efficient, faster, and behave more like experts. It enables them to converge towards expert work more quickly, or cuts down some of the difference between the best person and the median person. And again, not among that doesn't mean anyone can do it. Anyone can write. Anyone can write software. Uh, anyone could you know write software. Anyone could do customer service. But people who are, who do that. Some of them can, are enabled to do it better. So the best case scenario for AI is that we would use it to enable many middle skill workers, many of whom have been displaced from the middle and now work in personal services, valuable work, poorly paid, uh, to enable them with appropriate training <laughs> to do more things like uh, uh, medical vocational work, like x-ray techs, or uh, are um, in some cases, you know, the right training, uh, nurses and nurse practitioners, highly educated professionals, but extended by tools, uh, to do software, legal work, design work, people who do construction repair, to have better tools, not physical tools, but cognitive tools to support that type of work. And the reason that would be so valuable is we've seen four decades of rising inequality. And a lot of that has reflected rising earnings of experts uh, and displacement of people from the middle. To reinstate those middle skills into a new form of expertise by enabling people to use tools to, to go further. Again, not everyone can do everything, but with the right foundational training to do more of this valuable work, it would improve the quality of work. It would also reduce the price of many of the expensive services that we all buy, like medical care, like education, like legal services, like design. Uh, and uh, it would be an, uh, and it'd be highly productive. So that's what I would like to see. How do we get there? It's not easy. It has to be done deliberately. It, you can't just wait for it to happen. How would we know we were getting there? Well, we would know if we saw people without four-year college degrees. Remember, only 40% of American workers have a four-year college degree. So people with less than four-year education doing some of the valuable work that at present is done only by college graduates. That's a good metric. So when we say global warming, how do we know we're making progress? Well, CO2 levels are coming down. How do we know we're making progress on making work better for more people when we're enabling people without the highest level of expensive formal education to do high value work? 